friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video I am going to demonstrate the divide and conquer technique of fecal emulsification this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at the mid limbus and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility now two side ports are being made in this case this is the side port on the right side and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now, Capsulorexis. The uterata forceps is being used to scratch onto the anterior capsule. And when we use the uterata forceps, the anterior leaf of the main wound is lifted up. A capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise to do a rexis of about 5 millimeter. And in this case, it has been a very satisfactory almost circular rexis. We can call this manual rexis like femtorexis. Now hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is rotated. Yes, the nucleus is free now. Some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber. And then the tip of the feco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. And now see the exposed part of the feco needle. This is the exposed part of the feco needle. Since the cataract is on the harder side, nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4. I have increased the exposed part. And now some superficial lens matter is removed. some superficial lens matter is removed and then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now I am in sculpt mode and this is the trench through the center of the nucleus first trench ultrasonic energy is 70% Flow rate is 20 and vacuum is 80 millimeter of mercury. Little cut on the wall at the central part so that we can easily go into the center. Now this is another trench 90 degree away from the initial trench. In this case my plan is to make a plus sign and the group should be such depth that the tip almost sinks into the group yes 
particularly the central hard part of the nucleus has to be removed for that we may have to work for a while in direct job we don't have to spend this much of time but this is a safe technique and the beginners should always start with this technique this is the first crack by opposing forces this is the second crack and a small free nuclear fragment is there and this is the another crack and this is the fourth crack so we have got four fragments of unequal size but they are free and now I am in FECO 2 mode where the vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury fluoride is 40 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy being used is 65 percent now this is towards the end of the nucleus management and this is the third piece and this is the final nuclear fragment the final nuclear fragment is being divided into smaller pieces and now I remove the chopper to make the anterior chamber more stable as soon as I remove the chopper, leakage from the side port stops and the antechamber becomes more stable. And now, some more visco. And now I'm going to use 23G Simco to remove cortex from lower part say from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock this is the cortex from 6 o'clock this is from 5 o'clock and 4 o'clock this Simco is a very safe and very gentle instrument for removal of cortex and now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of cortex from the upper part from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock irrigation is from the right side port aspirating from the left and I'm removing the cortex from 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock now the cortex from 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock the on o'clock cortex didn't come so I'm going to change hands and remove the cortex from on o'clock yes now cortical cleanup is complete So this has been a very satisfactory cleaning of the cortex and now let us see how to fold the nucleus. This is Naspro from Appasami Associates. It's a hydrophilic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. So good lens, no financial interest. And now this cartridge may get stuck at the wound. So we need a little 
a larger side port for implantation of this IOL. So I make only one or two cuts and make the incision to about three millimeter. And now this is the intraocular lens. Both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag. And now I use the irrigating proof to irrigate the anterior chamber and I remove the cortex, remove the visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge. So it is done. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now this is closure of the side ports. Corneal stroma is hydrated on the scleral side and these side ports get closed. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. It is very important to keep this final lavage to decrease the incidence of toxic anterior segment syndrome. So this is the final lavage with a Simco cannula and I find it very easy to form the anterior chamber with this instrument. Yes, the anterior chamber is nicely formed and now the integrity of the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.